progress. Last week, Parliament directed the Committee on Legal and Parliamentary Affairs to handle the constitutional amendments that were tabled by the Deputy Attorney General Mwesega Rukutana. Upon depositing the compensation awarded for the property with the court pending determination by the court of the disputed compensation amount. The committee chairperson Jacob Obothobos told the NTV that their meeting will start tomorrow. Tomorrow and then uh, on Thursday we meet with the whole members of the committee and uh, draw a work plan on how we can go about this. And Oboth added that they will talk to different stakeholders on the land acquisition bill that has wiped up a storm. I expect people will come before us to help our committee come up with the right recommendation. If they are against, they should state more than just saying a right to own. They might give us a little more. And even those who are against, they should tell us more than just stating that uh, the land can be acquired comparisonally. According to Article 273 of the Constitution, all land in Uganda belongs to the people. Article 26 Clause 2 stipulates that no person shall be compulsorily deprived of property or any interest in right over property of any description except where taking possession is necessary for public use or is made under the law after prompt payment of fair and adequate compensation. The chairman of the committee says he's aware that the bill has sparked controversy among the public which is expected in a diverse society. Three people are gathered. There's divergent of opinion. You can't rule out. Um, you could have already heard or seen uh, members of the same committee, they could be having already their opinion. But it's too early to form an opinion, you know. As a committee, we want to listen to those for and against. One of the members of the committee, Hamson Obua, who represents Jury County, called on his colleagues to conduct the discussions in a structured manner. Either consult all districts of Uganda, or it can be segmented into sub-regional consultations. He further stressed that Article 26 of the Constitution is one that shouldn't be taken lightly because of its significance to Ugandan citizens. The committee, when we sit, should be able to draw a roadmap, but a roadmap that will not only end at consulting in our committee room. It must be a comprehensive roadmap that will take us to the countryside to get the views of the people of Uganda. What are the people of Lango saying? Buganda. When a bill is referred to a committee of parliament by the House, it's going to take 45 days for them to finish up their work and submit it to the floor of parliament. However, on exceptional occasions, the committee may request for a couple of days or weeks for them to finish up their report. More research all NTV at parliament.